Hey everyone, Tim Lewis here, back in the studio, and I'm drinking again. You wanna know why? Because what was me, I made a proxy video one week before the proxy update for Premiere. So, if you have uh, Premiere 2015.3 or later, uh, watch this video, not the other one. If you don't have it yet, pause this video, I'll wait, and then uh, we'll get started. So here we go. So for any of you guys who don't know, proxies basically take the original file, make a copy of it, low res version, uh, so you can edit it much faster and doesn't bog down your computer. And um, so a lot of people use it uh, nowadays for 4K footage, and uh, they transcode that to 1080p, 720p, uh, so it's much easier to edit around, and um, then they'll link it back, export it back into 4K. So it's a pretty nifty tool. So if this is your first time with proxy editing uh, on Adobe Premiere, uh, there's a few things that you need to set up. So first off, you'll start here in uh, Media Encoder CC. Uh, go to your preset browser, press this little plus button, go to Create Ingest Preset. Um, and I'll just name this, uh, you know, uh, Proxy 1080p. Um, and I'll go down to, so there's transfer and then there's transcode. I don't need to transfer. Transfer is, you know, transferring from copy, copying files from one destination to another. Uh, I don't need to do that, so I'm just going to go do transcode. And I will, I created a new folder here called proxies. And I'll just choose that as the proxy destination. So basically you take the files from one place, they'll transcode it, copy it into that new folder. Um, uh, a good format to use for editing, uh, DNxHR is, is very good, uh, it plays nicely with uh, editing software, it's an avid uh, format. Um, you don't have to, you know, this is editing like I said, so you don't have to have to go too high quality if you want, you, you can, but you know. Um, DNxSQ will work just fine, just make sure that the um, frame rate is the same. Uh, my frame rate is 29.97, and you can do 1080p, you can do 720p, um, but again, just make sure the frame rate and, uh, is the same as the original. So after that, you just right click the uh, preset here, go down to export presets. Um, I'm just gonna export it to uh, proxies just for now, but you know, export it to wherever you put your presets. I'll click save. So that's all set. Encoder is all set. Um, so now we're gonna load up Premiere. So I'm just gonna start from the beginning here. You'll see that once you open Premiere, you get this. Uh, I'm gonna start a new project, just title it Proxy Project. Uh, change the location to, uh, oh, uh, go down to Proxies. Uh, I'll just create another folder within that. Title it Premiere so it's all nice and uh, neat. Then uh, you'll see that there's a new tab here called Ingest Settings, and that is where proxying comes into play. First off, you'll check that uh, to turn everything on. Uh, you'll go down to Create Proxies, and then Add Ingest Preset, and this is where your preset that you created uh, earlier comes into play. Um, I saved it right here, so I'll highlight that, open it, and um, now you can see it's right there, Proxy 1080p. Uh, you can set the uh, proxy destination to same as project. Uh, I'm gonna choose a different location just to keep it neater. Um, I'll go down to uh, desktop proxies and I'll just title it proxy destination. And I'll choose that, I'll set. And then you hit okay. So now uh, you guys are probably familiar with this area. Uh, first off, I'm going to go to File, Project Settings, Ingest Settings. Make sure this is all set and, uh, and ready to go. That looks like it's, it's good. So another thing that came with the new update is this new proxy status uh, column here. Uh, if you don't have it, just right click anywhere here or click up here, the, the hamburger up here, and go down to Metadata Display. Um, and then drop down on the top one, Premiere Pro Project Metadata, scroll all the way down, and then Proxy will be right here. Make sure that's checked, hit OK. Uh, if you don't see it, it's probably all the way on the very end, so you're gonna have to scroll to the right. Um, and, you know, I just you know dragged it over to the very beginning uh, for this 
a project so you can kind of see how this works. So here's my media browser right here. Uh, this is all some GoPro footage I've used in previous projects before. Um, so just for instance here, I'm gonna choose this, uh, I'll ch let's choose this one. This is 4K footage. Before you do anything, make sure ingest is checked. So make sure that's highlighted, right click, import. So it starts to import, and as you can see, it says proxy offline, which basically means Premiere is saying, hey, I know that this needs to have, be, have a proxy file. Uh, we are in the middle of transcoding it for you, but right now it's offline and you're working with the 4K footage still. Uh, so this is where Media Encoder comes to play. Come here and you'll see that it's already starting to transcode to the .mxf file, the DNx uh, format. It's saving it to the, as you can see, the proxy destination folder that I created. Uh, so I, I've done this before where I need to press play to start the actual transcoding, but um, in this case, it went by itself. I'm gonna let this finish transcoding and we'll come back. And we're back. Okay, so as you can see here, under Media Encoder, the output file is done. If I click here, you'll see that it's exported, it's transcoded as an MXF file. All's good. And then as you go over to Premiere, you'll see uh, that under the proxies column, you'll see that it is attached, meaning that the proxy file is attached to the original. So it's a success, but there's one more thing that I need you guys to do, I forgot about. Uh, go to the program window uh, and go to the button editor here. Uh, Adobe added a new button here called the toggle proxies. Bring that down, press OK. So basically what this button does is it it's pretty self-explanatory. It toggles it from the original file uh, to the proxy file and back and forth, back and forth, depending on uh, when it's pressed. Uh, so with this button now there, uh, I'm gonna click and drag this to the timeline area to create a new timeline. This is Ben, say hello, Ben. Um, and just so you guys can see, if you go to sequence settings, you'll see that it's still in 4K resolution. Um, it, you know, it still plays. I just press, you know, there's, there's a little bit of uh, lagginess uh, not too bad, but you know, once you put start putting a bunch of different uh, shots in there, it gets pretty laggy. Uh, so this is where the new toggle button comes in. Toggle proxies, click that. It's now blue, which means now that it is uh, editing using the proxy file that it is attached to. Uh, it's much faster. It's more much more responsive on Premiere uh, and. As you can see, if you go to sequence settings, it's still in 4K, but it's just playing using the uh, DNX codec format that we uh, transcoded it to. And that's all there is to it. Much more streamlined version. Um, Final Cut Pro has a setting like this to create proxies. And finally, Adobe has it too to match with uh, Final Cut Pro. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Smash that like button. I'm going for 100 likes. Let's see if we can do it. Make sure you subscribe. I got a weekly cadence of videos, so uh, make sure you subscribe to, you know, get your weekly dose of uh, video-related videos. Um, if you want me to cover anything else, comment down below again with, with anything that you would want me to cover, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.